Okay, so if you want to read more diverse romance books but don't know where to start, keep watching this video. And I'm talking about the ones with all the smut, the tension, childhood best friends to lovers, enemies to lovers, all the tropes. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I want to say for the past two months, my friend Shelly and I, her name is Shelly and Beyond Book Talk. You should definitely follow her. I love her so much. We pretty much have the same content. So if you like my content, 100% follow Shelly. Anyway, so for the past two months, I want to say, yeah, two months, we've been reading, um mainly books by poc authors specifically black authors kind of specifically black romances not really just black authors and oh my gosh first of all i was lacking at the apartment so bad like i was looking at my bookshelf i was like girl where's the diversity i was looking at my kindle my goodreads i was like this is this is embarrassing anyways so in the past two months i've read so many great books i literally felt at home reading like almost all of them a lot of them contained aabe aka african-american vernacular english and i felt so ugh, i loved everything about it anyways so if you don't know where to start here are the book recs i am literally ready for all right sports romance basketball sports romance i feel like you guys saw this coming because i've talked about this series a lot on my account already but the hoop series by kennedy ryan so many tropes in here different tropes in here um the second book actually has plus size representation literally one of my favorites ever look up the trigger warnings before you start the series but yeah, definitely read it. Great starter, in my opinion. Childhood Best Friends to Lovers. Listen, Kennedy Ryan, one of my new favorite authors, one. Childhood Best Friends to Lovers. And this is the type where um, they're like in love as kids and then like a tragedy happens and they separate and don't talk for like years and then they reunite. Literally amazing queen move by Kennedy Ryan. Continue on by Daniel Allen. Literally smut with great plot. Plus size web, because I do believe she is size 20. Um, they meet in college, there's sparks, but you know, stuff happens, and they meet 10 plus years later, and girl, the smut, it's <laughs> Sadly, last one by Kennedy Ryan, but this is a forbidden romance. It's director meets actress, and it is so amazing. There is disability representation in here, because I believe she has, she has lupus, which is a disease. Freaking amazing, you fall in love with these characters. And the one by Daniel Allen, Trufidier, one of my new favorite authors, also, again, smut. Yup, literally smut, so freaking hilarious, so freaking cute, and smut. Sandy by Rebecca Witherspoon, A Marriage of Inconvenience. Also, the guy is actually plus size. I've never read a book where the guy is plus size. Freaking love this one. This one was so freaking cute. Also, there was some smut I've never read in there before. Yeah, if you read this book, you know. Another one by Daniel Allen, Sweatpants Season. I want to say this one is like, we fell for each other, and then we became enemies. Girl, and the tension. And then we fell in love again. Yep. <laughs> the work song by Daniel Allen. This one honestly reminded me of Punk 57 because they're always emailing each other, right? They fall for each other through email, but they never met. 